Hello everyone, this is Colin from Fiber Optics for Sale. In this video, I will explain what is cladding mode and cladding mode stripper. So let's get started. This picture shows how light rays are coupled into the fiber. For light rays within the fiber's acceptance angle theta max, the light is captured by the core and propagate in the core. But there are some light rays that are outside of the fiber's acceptance angle. So they pass through the core cladding interface into the cladding region. The cladding has an interface with outer coating layer. Some of this light will be reflected back into the cladding at the cladding and coating interface, and it can then be trapped and propagate within the cladding. These are called cladding modes. They are also called radiation modes. If the fiber is a multimode fiber, then cladding modes can couple with and get power from higher order modes of the core, resulting in increased loss of the core power. That is why cladding modes are generally not wanted. Modern fibers have a polymer coating layer with a refractive index that is slightly higher than that of the cladding, so that cladding modes are rapidly attenuated and disappears after only a few centimeters. This is particularly true for single mode fibers. When working with rather short pieces of fiber, for example, in order to measure some strong absorption in highly doped, rare earth doped fiber, incomplete elimination of power in cladding modes may be a problem. This is particularly the case when the polymer coating around the fiber has to be removed. One solution is to splice a short fiber to a longer length of passive fiber. The passive fiber can remove the light in cladding modes. Another solution is to use a drop of index matching fluid on the fiber as shown in this picture. In the high power fiber amplifier made from double clad fiber, residue pump light may have to be removed in order to prevent it either from traveling along with the amplified signal or from getting back to the signal source. A special cladding mode stripper is usually used for that purpose. Cladding mode strippers for use in high power fiber amplifiers need to be able to handle substantial optical powers. These powers must be absorbed in a long enough region and that the generated heat can be removed safely without damaging the mode stripper or any other parts. So there you have it. Please leave your comment below if you'd like to see other topics. Don't forget to visit foforsale.com for more free fiber optic tutorials. I will see you in the next video.